meeting to order. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we have a moment of silence, please? Councillor Coast here. Councillor Strata here. Councillor Champ here. Councillor Chamberlain present. Councillor Fry here. Five members are present. Councillor Sturtz is absent. We have a quorum. Okay, before the meeting uh, gets started, there is a let um, media. If any, it's not even, we get some back, back there. Here. <laughs> okay, and council know that we will be going into executive session after the. 13th item on agenda. Okay. We have, uh, let's see, approval of prior meetings minutes. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Coase and second by Councillor Fry. Councillor Coase? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Councillor Strata? Yes. Councillor Champ? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Do we have any names of individuals wishing to address council? Diane Richard Shear. Hi. 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 Would you like to come up and address council or stand up, please? Um, we were, do you want to know why we're here? Yes, we do. Kathy? <laughs> sure. We we had a little concern after we got our last water bill. Okay. Because we got yet another letter with the drinking water notice mm -hmm. that the levels were above what they should have been, and we were just wondering. We feel our water bill is high enough to resolve these issues. I mean, just for the two of us, it was over $50. Okay. Are, what, if anything, are they doing to get these levels under control? Because according to this letter, this is what, the fourth quarter? It's been like this? All right. Um, first of all, I'm going to um, have Dennis answer these questions for you because okay. this is his area of okay. expertise. Hi. Okay. It is a four-quarter average that, that results in the number of the 0.81 right. uh, parts per billion. Right. Um, so no, it's not the fourth quarter that we've been in violation. Uh, it's the second quarter that we've been in violation. Uh, there's brand new equipment that was just installed, just made operational Thursday in the Shoup Avenue tank, which takes THMs out of the, uh, the drinking water. and. Uh, actually, the place where we're in violations in particular is uh, the line going to Tedro out by the fairgrounds. And the county sanitary engineer is putting similar equipment in that water tower, which should get us back in compliance. So it wasn't for the whole city of Wauseana? We have to issue it to every single drinking water customer. But the particular spot that's got us in trouble is um, out of the fairgrounds. Since this report says it's an average, so at some point it was considerably higher than that, and sometimes it was lower than that, right? Yes, seasonably the numbers are higher in the summertime with heat and typically lower um, in the wintertime. Other things that affect it is when and how much water Lyons takes from us on a daily basis. Uh, a lot of things go into it. So you feel this will take care of it then? Yes. Okay. So is our water bill going to go any higher? No. No I funds were there's in the budget. two people were paying almost 60 bucks a month for this. And they're telling me not to drink it because I do have kidney issues. But you didn't think the city of Wauseon was affected by it just out there? We t I can't tell you with certainty exactly where all they take these samples, but those test locations are mandated by Ohio EPA. And typically are there at the far reaches of the system and some typical places in the system. One of them is near Dorothy Biddle Park, I know. Um, <laughs> what? Near Dorothy Biddle Park. Oh. So 
Well, we live out there. Yeah, that's right. where we live. <laughs> <laughs> they, live right. they, they live on the corner of Glenwood. Yeah. And so how often does the APA test this water since it's not in the proper range? We test it quarterly. Oh, so we won't test it for another three months then? Uh, the, the next time test. is uh, the first or second week of November, I believe. Dennis, didn't the standards for the THMs get more um, stringent? Dramatically more stringent in 2013. And so this wouldn't have been anywhere as close to being um, over the limits two years ago. Correct. Over the limits. So. But there's a reason why they are doing the levels where they are, why they've raised the level. Right. Lowered the limits. Lowered um, the limits. Yeah. I've not heard any great reasons other than enough water plants complied so they could lower it <laughs> with the old numbers. Okay. Well, I hope it does take care of it. It's nothing new. I mean, it's nothing different than the water's ever been. Well, it's so just what? got to be a concern for us since we're paying sixty bucks a month for water. And it doesn't meet EPA standards. <laughs> right. Then and what's then it going to cost us as homeowners to have it inside the EPA standard? Well, we're, we're hoping to achieve compliance with the two fixes that uh, I told you are happening. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bob, did you want to say anything? We're just opened up the floor for yeah uh, for for, for, for anybody to have anything to say right now yeah. yes yes uh, I just found out Saturday that uh, old recycling center was up for or was could be sold mm -hmm. I didn't know it was being sold and uh, so I called about it this morning that's why I'm late I've been rushing around and all I haven't working yet so, so right but uh, I was wanting it to go, go to up for bid which I thought it would if it uh, city building ever got sold, it should go to bid for other people to be able to bid on it. And, and I know from what I talked to people today that uh, uh, bid was at 210 or the offer, and I said I'd open the bid at 220. Mm -hmm. If that's what it took, and that's that's it. So okay. I'd like to know if that's going to be able to, to be done or not. Okay. What business are you affiliated with? All in one. All in one service. Okay. Thirty going on thirty-five years. Husqvarna, right there. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. We are going to go into um, an executive session when we discuss uh, purchasing, selling of of uh, businesses um, and uh, city businesses. So we're going to go into executive session at the end of this, which I just um, told council. Okay. coming into the meeting so we'll come out of that executive session um, at the end of council okay and do I need to be here for that or? you can stay at the end of the executive session okay. um, and we'll bring you back in afterwards so okay okay right. so that they can be brought up with uh, you spoke with Dennis and you spoke with Tom correct uh, today I spoke with Bill Swear oh you I don't spoke with Dennis know. and who else did you speak with today just Dennis I think Okay. And you okay. So that way we can bring council and myself up to okay. um, what everything was discussed okay. today. All right? Does that sound fair? Sounds fair. Okay. Anybody else? All right. <coughs> Great. Okay. Let's move on to committee reports. Do we have any committee reports? Oh, uh, <coughs> street committee, we did meet uh, just before this meeting uh, to talk about uh, the parking issue on Superior Street. Um, after some good dialogue, uh, including uh, insight from Chief Torbett, uh, the street committee has decided to uh, table the issue, uh, keep an eye on the, the parking on Superior Street, and maybe revisit uh, the issue uh, at a later date. Did you have anybody come in to talk about that at all with you guys today? Just, just Chief Morbid shares. Chief. Yeah. And no complaints? Just <coughs> we have, as far as I can see, we haven't received any complaints in our office. Well, there was one that one meeting. Yeah, and we just wanted to make sure that it wasn't an issue. 
true issue. I'd like to have a little input from the actual residents that live there, not just the people passing through. Okay, great. Okay. Any other questions? We'll move on to department head reports. David is not here, so we'll move on to Rick. Uh, Mayor just returned today from a week off, so I'm uh, just kind of getting my feet back under me here. And, Welcome back. I've uh, been speaking this afternoon with uh, Tom Waters in regards to our EMS contract. We're trying to get that finalized here very soon with the commissioners. And uh, this Saturday is the Fires Association uh, Sportsman's Dinner and Raffle. So I, we have tickets available for that. And that occurs this Saturday from 4 to 8. If you're interested, please see me or help support the Fires Association. And, well, a couple of things. Uh, I was notified last month that uh, unfortunately our Los Angeles Exchange Club is no longer going to be uh, in uh, existence. Uh, they are uh, folding up shop as, as to speak. Uh, uh, they've done a lot of good for the, the citizens and I just wanted to thank them for their years of service. But uh, as part of them closing up and distributing the treasury, they also wanted to thank them for a $500 donation for our safety city. They have been longtime supporters, and we appreciate all that they've done for us. Also, um, as all of you know, I'm the president for the Ohio Association of Chiefs of Police. And last week, we were at, at an executive summit between the executive boards of the Ohio Association of Chiefs of Police the Buckeye State Sheriff's Association, as well as the command staff for the Ohio State Highway Patrol. One of the issues that we discussed was the upcoming issue three on the state election, and all of us that were there were unanimous in opposition to issue three. Um, we've issued a letter that will be going out to all the law enforcement officials throughout the state and hopefully getting um, signatures from all of those. We have a commitment right now in Fulton County from all except two, including the sheriff and the Fulton County prosecutor in opposition to this and possibly at next uh, council meeting. I would um, like to read the entire letter to you at that time uh, once I get all the signatures and also ask for the city to uh, join with us in opposition to issue three because we do feel that Regardless of what you think about marijuana, we feel this is not a, a good issue and it is going to be detrimental to our community as well as our children. Okay. Thank you. And Tom is still on vacation, so move on to Dennis. Out at the water reclamation plant uh, tomorrow, they are going to host some confined space training. Um, <coughs> uh, they've got a actually a vendor that we do business with uh, from time to time is uh, authorized to put on these classes and give Ohio EPA credit for it uh, for our uh, folks that hold water and wastewater licenses so uh, most all public works uh, quite a few of the guys from the water plant myself included um, they're going to take advantage of that training it is essentially costing the city um, the price of the lunch to do this so some very cheap hours compared to traveling any place and getting hours. Um, we're supposed to get about eight hours of, of training out of that, primarily on confined space entry. Some fire department guys are going to be there as well. Um, on the Linfoot Street project, um, Ohio Gas continues to replace the gas mains. Um, Toledo Edison has taken a little hiatus. I don't know what happened to them except that uh, they did spring free to change the broken pole down at South Park so that we can have our star again this Christmas season, which is appreciated. Um, also on Linfoot Street, uh, we received word that uh, the contractor, the subcontractor that is going to be doing the uh, uh, traffic signal work intends to be in town in the next couple of weeks to, to begin working on those. Uh, some of the poles get moved further away from each other to for the in intersection widening. Um, which means moving the control boxes and so on. Um, other than that, I've been working on the budget. I'm happy. I'm ready for next year. Thank 
Jamie? A uh, couple things. I'm not sure if any of you have heard about the Ohio uh, Attorney General and the settlement with Morton Felt and Cargo. We received a check today for that settlement, um, approximately $1,450. In case you were that. It was um, that they were conspiring to increase costs on salt a few years ago. Dennis doesn't think that it would be even last year's salt I wonder what in some ways. So we did this as a bid with them. No, and, and Meg did all the groundwork on that as far as filling out the Attorney General's paperwork and going back through our records for the qualifying years when we did business with those two firms. So. <laughs> Um, additionally, I was out of the office last week at a conference, and this morning I conducted interviews for the water clerk position. I interviewed the top three people, and I have made a decision. However, I have not contacted either any of those three people, so I will let you know after I make that phone call. Um, additionally, I provided uh, month end figures, um, tax income revenue. Did not look as great this month because I don't know. I, <laughs> it, we we received you know thirty one percent more last month and minus fifteen percent this month. It, it just has to do with timing of payments. But we're still up eight percent, which I think is wonderful. And hopefully we can continue that for the rest of the year. That's all I have. Unless you have any questions for me. Um, as Chief Sluter mentioned, working on the EMS contract, trying to get that through the final um, revisions. I think we're almost there. And we are still working on uh, getting our first negotiation session set up with the OPBA folks, which looks like it'll be towards the end of October. And uh, we are meeting tomorrow with the Clemens and Nelson folks to continue our work on the job descriptions, classifications, and the salary uh, wage compensation package for the non-union workers generally. Um, and then I'll be prepared, I'm prepared to discuss the uh, real estate issues surrounding the Linfoot property when we go into executive session. That's it. That's great. Okay, I think this is the first in 14 years of not having any legislation first second or third readings. So, let's move into new business. Um, the only thing that I have under new business is uh, the Chili Fest went off, I think, with the bang. We had beautiful weather, a lot of people, and uh, great vendors. We ended up, we had 18 registered vendors, but only 15 chili vendors showed up. And the uh, speech and debate team won the people's choice, the mayor's choice, so obviously their chili was good. And um, the Chamber of Commerce won the uh, judges award. And between the police and fire department, I don't know how they did it, but they tied. <laughs> so the well, people's choice. That was until they pulled the chip on the <laughs> Well, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I went there. But yeah. It was good. It was a great. It was a great day, and a lot of people were pleased to have the chili fest back. And it was. It was. It was a good day. So. And who won best decorations? Oh, best decorations <laughs> was Barber Capers. Oh, that's right. I'm the Nick Waters. <laughs> chili wasn't good, but the decorations. <laughs> Everybody, uh, yeah. Well, the chili was the second. You guys second got second place, place yeah, yeah, and the decorations <laughs> were good, <laughs> thanks to the ladies in the office. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we do have to speak about you tearing down the police line. Yeah, yeah, that was unfortunate. They kept ringing that <laughs> bell. So it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a good time. So we have um, artists there, and uh, Sullivan said their place open. So it was really a good time. I really enjoyed it. And the, the kids came up with their pumpkins, and it was just a lot of fun. They had great music. So I'm hoping that it will continue to grow. and. Um, 
I think I tried uh, 15 chilies and every single one of them was different, I, I have to say. So, good time. And I want to thank everybody who participated with that. So, anything else under New Business Council? Okay. We have a motion to approve the bills. So. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Coast and second by Councillor Sham. Councillor Coast. Yes. Councillor Sham. Yes. Councillor Strata. Yes. Councillor Chamberlain. Yes. Councillor Fry. Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. Okay. We have a motion to move into executive session. Reason. Purchase or sale of real property. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Chamberlain and second by Councillor Estrada. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Estrada? Yes. Councillor Cole? Yes. Councillor Sham? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. There will be no action after this. There's no action.